Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing another wellness plan with me and I got to give you a little um, backstory on how the last month has gone because my role that I was on starting in like January has um, kind of tapered off, but the past two weeks I've been doing really good. So I just want to do a little recap before we jump into this and then we're going to find some recipes for next week. So here is next week and we're going to kind of set up the workout. So we'll get into that in a minute. So the little recap. So <laughs> February was really good. January was really good. So like here is February, mid-February. So everything is great. Um, by the way, this is the EC wellness log. If you have not seen this before, I'm going to take it out. Actually, I'm going to do that right now. Let's just take this out because it's easier to write on. Where's the middle? Where is it? There it is. Okay. So we're just going to take this out. This is my EC folio. I'm just going to put this to the side. Okay. So let's go back over here. February, I was doing really well. Things were going great. Um, I was working out regularly. And then about this week or so, I started to get um, really stressed, headaches, uh, and I started giving up a little bit. This week, clearly, just didn't even finish anything. And that was due to this migraine. I don't know what my deal was. I think it's because I started eating, like getting off of my meal plan about this area. And then, yeah. This week was, um, okay. This was spring break. I meant to get back on track and reset, but that didn't happen so much. I just had so much yummy food to eat. We, I ate out with people a lot and it was just kind of fun. Oh, and I hurt my back working in my yard and that slowed me down a little bit. So this week I gave up because of my back. It was just like hurting so bad. I tried to push through, which is probably not the best thing to do. And then this next week, I just decided I'm going to reset for real. So on this week, I did a couple of things. First, every night I put a heat pack on my back. I did not overdo it with my workouts. I modified everything that I needed to. Um, I did work out or work in my yard. I, this was a really good workout, actually. I'm going to totally count those. I just set it as like functional training or something on my watch and yeah, it was a good workout. But um, yeah, I kind of got my groove back on this week. I also, I used to do this all the time. Like last year and the year before I would do like bouts of weekday vegetarian. It just makes me feel good eating a lot of vegetables and limiting my meat um, intake and all of that. And I just make healthy choices when I do weekday vegetarian. So I did it this week, which was the end of March. This is the current week that I am on, continuing continuing with the weekday vegetarian and loving it. And then this week, I've already kind of decided I want to continue with the weekday vegetarian because it's just going really well. And I am starting to lose a little bit of weight again because I weighed and things are happening. So I'm going to stick with the weekday vegetarian. I did fill this out. I was in a mood. So let's just go through this real quick. Um, so I filled this out on March 25th. So I my goals for this little um, section here is to run some more. So I did pick up running again. I hate it. And I'm not a good runner. I was never made to do it. But I try. And I'm trying more. So we're doing that. Um, building up my strength and stamina. Fitting in at least two strength workouts a week is kind of my goal. And stamina kind of goes with the running. And I do like dance workouts and stuff and kickboxing to keep um, or build my stamina. Um, I want to be comfortable in pictures because there's going to be a lot of pictures taken in the next couple of months. And I want that. And then weekday vegetarian. So these are what I'm working on. Um, accomplishments, not much, but I did run a little bit. Goal progress, none. Okay, some running. But other than that, nada. You can feel the mood there. 
So the plan for this month, stay consistent, try my hardest, work out five times a week and wear my freaking watch because this actually helps me a lot. It keeps me accountable and it like actually keeps me on track. So I'm going to keep my habit trackers the same at least for another week. Um, I may change them up maybe week after next or something, but I'm going to keep Apple Watch and flossing because I was doing really well on the flossing and then I just like missed a couple of days in the past couple of weeks. So oh, there's a, my hair. So I want to keep that because this is almost a habit, but I want, and this is almost a habit as well, but I think I just need like maybe two more weeks with that. So back to the current week. Here's what we have going so far. Um, this week I ate a, for lunch, a brown rice bowl with green beans and mushrooms, edamame and an egg. Um, dinner, sweet potato with beans and guacamole. Really good. Taco salad that night. Um, I don't know what I'm going to have for dinner. I don't know what is happening on the weekend. Um, and then over here we've got dance workout and I went out for a run after that. I don't know. I was feeling some type of way. Just went out and just did it. I felt really good and I got a new move record, which was exciting. Then I did kickboxing workout this night, which I haven't done kickboxing in a while. So I put it back in the rotation. I did fast this day. Um, I was sore, really sore from this stuff. So I did a, um, a walk instead of a run. And then I did a, a strength workout this morning. Tomorrow is going to be uh, yard work. And so that's going to be good. Um, I am, I have a note for myself that I want to focus on sleeping more. And so that is going to be a goal for this next week. I'm getting really bad about going, like staying up later because it's more light outside. And that is not working for me. I need seven and a half hours of sleep. That's like my sweet spot, really eight, but seven and a half is what I will take. So actually I haven't filled this out, but I've been doing good on these. I need to fill those. I'll do it later. All right, let's move on to this week. Let me zoom in just a smidge. Okay, so with my workouts, these are like the options that I've kind of picked for myself. And I keep them on these little post-its and I just move them around wherever I want them to be. I don't write down the workout like this until the day of because I always like the option to change my mind. But these are really handy because I can move them around. I can look at the weather, see what the best day is for my run and for yard work and stuff like that. So this is what I'm thinking for next week. Although this one might get switched out with like some kickboxing or something. We'll see. Um, and I'm probably going to do a little stretching on Friday. We'll, that is up in the air, this, which is why I keep them on the post-its. But I'm not going to use these this week, I don't think. So I'm going to move them over here to the next week. All right. So I, I don't like to do too much strength back to back, but this one doesn't really bother me. It's more my legs. Um, I might... Instead of hit, do kickboxing. No, we're going to leave it like this. I think this is going to work for my workouts. And then for meals, let's look real quick. So I'm going to I have my iPad here. I'm going to pull up my Pinterest. I have some ideas already because, you know, whenever I'm bored, I like to just look and stuff. So I have this veg out board and I found a couple of things this week. I thought about making this but for lunches like the veggies and stuff they aren't going to keep all week and I just I don't think that would work. Now for dinner maybe dinner next week I think and then I do want to try this kale Caesar salad too with chickpeas and this was really good. I'm definitely going to have that again. But I'm thinking for next week's lunches, I just need something really easy. And I think I'm going to go with this one. Now the link is broken on this, I think. Oh, maybe not. Oh, okay. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, this looks so good. Okay. So this is going to be lunch. And I'm going to go ahead and put in the ingredients into my grocery list, which I have on my reminders. I have a grocery list one, and this is so easy 
to add to during the week. And so that's why I keep it on my phone. Um, let's go back over here. And for dinners, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. I also have a this week board just so those are handy. So these are just, I need to clean this off. But these are the last couple of weeks. Um, this is kind of calling to me, but that's turkey. What if I did black beans? That looks good, but I want to go for something a little more healthy. I'm thinking maybe I will do black bean burger. Okay, I'm going to think about this for a minute. I'm thinking black bean burger and then some things to go on the side. So what I'm going to do now is I need a pin. Um, let me go with, I used purple last week, I think, right? Oh, no. It's blue and purple. Let's go with this green. I think, yeah. So let's go with this green jelly roll pin. And I think I want to use the stickers in the back. I like adding stickers. So I need to add stickers to this spread. This one already has it. Yes. Okay. So what I'm going to do is set up this week and I'm going to put everything in my grocery list. I'm going to add a couple of stickers. I'm going to add stickers to this week to kind of finish it off. And then I'll come back and show you what I have for this spread.
So here is the current week with a couple of stickers added. And I meant to go ahead and fill this out. So I wore my watch all this week. Today's Saturday. And then flossing, I floss every day except for Friday. Okay. And I think that I want to make myself a note to some up here about sleep. So, um, let's do goal, better sleep. Um, okay. So, we have that and then maybe a word. I put focus up here. Um, let's put persistence. Do I need to spell it? I'm going to have to check on that. Is it an E? N-C-E or is it an A? I don't know. I will check. I'm a terrible speller. All right. So I decided on the black bean burger. Um, I'm just doing like no bun or anything um, with like a slice of cheddar cheese and some avocado with a side salad with, um, I've had them before. They're these little bowls. I'll do like half a bowl of the, like a corn protein bowl thing. I don't know how to explain it, but it's really good along with the salad. So I'll have like two salads and my little open face or open, or what would you call that? Bunless burger. And then this, I'm going to do the Mediterranean three bean salad. I think that's going to be really delicious. I'm going to do a little fasting here and I'm going to bring probably a little protein shake just in case I get busy and I get hungry. And I think that's everything. So these are the workouts I'm planning on and I'll definitely do five. They may not be that this five or in this order, but something like this. We'll see. So I do usually post these at least on my um, Instagram stories. So go ahead and check that out. If you have any questions about my process or why I do anything that I do, or if you have any questions about, you know, whatever, then leave those down below in the description and I, or not in the description, in the comment section and I will get back to you and we can just have a little chat. So I think that is everything for this video. I hope that it was helpful and that you enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye.